It is championship time here at Fight UK 7. The amateur welterweight title held by that man, Carl Booth, in the black shorts as he faces the challenge of Jefferson George from Icon Jiu Jitsu in the red sprawl shorts with a spectacular attack there. That was a nice kick from Booth. Booth looking to land those punches, a very, very powerful striker. Oh, beautiful shot by Jefferson as he swings his way through, lands in mount position, looking for that arm triangle. So the arm triangle straight away, Rob. That was beautiful, the way that he shifted his weight. And from the Icon Jiu Jitsu team, known for producing these aggressive grapplers, and that's what we're seeing. This looks very, very tight, Rob. Very difficult to get from the mount position. Booth does well to roll, but it may not be well enough. Jefferson George keeping that on nice and tight. And he's rolled it back over. This looks very, very tight. His corner out telling him to leave it on. That is incredibly tight. Carl Booth really struggling here. Carl Booth moves his head down. He's out. He does very, very well there. You've got to ask how much has that taken out of him, Rob? Very, very dangerous times for Booth. He looked in big trouble. What Jefferson needs to do now is to stay established just exactly what he's going to do. He can't allow Booth to rest, and even worse, he can't allow Booth to posture up and land those big bombs, Rob. That's right, as he looks to do exactly that, Ben, just as you said, he postures up, comes down with some heavy-handed shots. Jefferson doing good, just keeping that guard on, working that closed guard, opening it up, closing it. Beautiful work by Booth. Avoiding no submission attempts from George. George swinging his legs. Looking to isolate an arm. Carl Booth, top position. George looking to control from the bottom rope, trying to maintain control on the posture, but the problem he's having is he's not able to stop those body shots coming in. Booth up and out. And back to the feet we go. And this is where Booth will want it, undoubtedly. Oh, and a nice big knee, but Jefferson George, very, very clever there. Took that knee, but drove through, and that's exactly what he needed to do. Great work on the takedown, but now the armbar by Carl Booth. Booth showing that he's got the ground skills himself as he goes for that armbar. Looks to switch to a leg. But George, wow, very, very good. Fast first round in this welterweight title bout. The end of an incredibly fast paced first round. Jefferson George, 10 5 veteran, record of 6 and 4. In a lot of respects, Rob. I think he shot Carl Booth by how aggressive he came out. Got underneath that big punch. And let's be honest, Booth was fighting for his life in that submission of points. Yeah, definitely. I mean, Booth got the, the rollover and the turn, which basically essentially saved his bacon. Let's be honest, if uh, George had been able to switch his weight to the other side, it may have been a different story. Here we go, second round. And the big thing we're going to see here from Carl Booth is how is he going into these later rounds? How is he going into the second round and into the, the third round? Because what we've seen from Carl Booth is explosive athleticism, knockout power, but we've seen it early. And now he's got a, a tested veteran, someone like Jefferson George, who's been in there with some tough guys, who knows what to do, and he's really contested for this title. This is a real, real test for Carl Booth here at Fight UK 7. Huge front kick caught by George. George thrown over the top on the break. Booth look has have huge power, Ben, sorry. Right, Booth looking to strike. Throwing that kick as well. George down the middle again, beautiful work. 
have to hold the dominant position. We've seen the guy with dominant kicks, he has very, very, very powerful kicks, but against a skilled grapple like Jackson George, he's got to be careful. You've got to be mindful. If you are going to throw those kicks, you better make sure you set them up. Because what will happen is just happen. Jefferson will catch the kick, and now he's in a tough spot. He's in the mount, great on the legs, and he has got a lot of time put to work as Jefferson George. And now the hoops go in. Three fifth of back. Looks for locking the body. There's the body triangle. And that's the sign of a very experienced grappler, Rob. He's locked that body triangle in place. Dangerous times for Booth. Very dangerous times. And not only is that body triangle, Rob, restricting his breathing, it is anchoring him in position. If any of you watching have ever grappled with anybody who's had the long enough legs to utilize the body triangle, it is a miserable position to be in. Absolutely horrid. We've seen many, many fights over the years. Ben finished from this very same position. Definitely with either the choke or the body triangle itself is a submission. Famous to remember Ivan Salaveri su submitting Tony Frickham, but as we say that, he does really, really well to turn around. Question needs to be asked, how much energy is George expended in these transitions? Similarly from Booth, I mean a real breakneck pace to this title fight. George looking to work, now he swims it up and see a little bit of blood on the face of the champion. It looks like it's coming from the nose and now gets the triangle over the top. Carl oh, Booth's got his man up and down, that's a huge Beautiful. slam. And some big punches coming in, that was nothing more than brute force. And that's what you get with a powerful athlete like Carl Booth. Jefferson George doing incredibly well to survive. Oh, these Huge shots aren't shot. missing by much. Good Jefferson work. George holding on. Good work by George to avoid those last couple of shots, but Booth able to land some bumping blows. What a round of action. Certainly what a title is. fight, excuse me, sorry Rob. we looking into the corners, you can see the difference. George looks to be in trouble after that huge slam. I feel it may have dazed him, Ben, he took a lot of big shots afterwards as well. I feel that he may have been dazed after that slam. A few of those shots may have helped to daze him, but he's kept his focus. He's looking to recover now. I, mean, I think the thing was with George, he felt the triangle go on, he focused all his power and all his might on locking that on. But, but what he didn't do, obviously, was underhook the leg to prevent the slam and pick up, and that's, that's the problem. He felt that maybe he could finish that fight quickly, but Booth, I mean, powerhouse as he is at welterweight, he was able to pick him all the way up and slam him down, breaking the hold. Get ready, the third and final round. Both Booth and George showing the signs of the fact they've been in this, this real battle. A slow start almost, but as I say that, nice punches thrown. Carl oh, Booth looking for the Muay Thai clinch. Got to land a knee, but doesn't quite get it. But I got a feeling that one of these is going to get through eventually. If George is unable to move from that position, George applies his own. Straight up the pipe. Beautiful takedown. Very clever from Booth. Battle of Wills this. Jefferson George has come here to try and win this title. Carl Booth has been titanic in his defense so far. 
as he looks to stack his man up but reverse and the armbar comes on beautiful work it looks as if it's in nice and tight George needs to extend it if he can extend it he's got that rob he has that arm locked in place referee Marwater taking a very close look at the action Booth trying to get the arm across to push himself free and now he's looking to try and set the triangle maybe if he can throw his legs up and over George relaxes himself, looks to hook the leg again. Booth looking to land strikes, if he can, looking to... It looks like to me, Rob, it looks like he's trying to... Summon all his energy for one final big flurry. Jefferson George just looking to try and survive on the bottom. And with the round, the first two rounds being as close as they are, this could be a very, very interesting finale if it does in fact go to the distance. So even off of his back, then let's be honest, George has been very, very busy. He's been hungry for this title. Incredibly dangerous and a huge leg kick, and George athletically jumps out of the way but doesn't quite catch him. Nice work there by George again with the strikes. Retaliating with some good techniques of his own. George looking in to get the takedown. If he can get this, this could be very, very big. Just 10 seconds left. Last few seconds of this round. What a fight here in Fight UK 7. A very, very worthy title fight. But Jefferson George picks his man and slams into the canvas. And it's going to go to the judges. Will the champ keep the title or will the challenger? take it away very 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 interesting fight there what a title fight and we await the judges scorecards for the official decision